drawing an activity network you can try this example yourself when you've done it then check the solutions also there's another example here now let's do this example so activity A and B are independent so start the event 1 A can start and B can start then C depends on both A and B so the event 2 now we have to bring A down but we can't bring it just like that so we bring a dummy now we can start C D just depends on A E depends on B and D so the event 4 because we already used B so we have to bring a dummy now from here to there so this is E And F can start after C. So this is F, then E and F are not in the precedence column or they're not predecessors, so they have to be come together at the end. That's the event number six, and that's the end. And this was a start. Here, you can start A, B, C from event one. That's the start. So we can take A up, C to the right, and B down. Now D and E both depends on A. Then later on, C is going to be joined with D, so therefore, here's event 2, so we take E in this direction, but bring the D towards C. Now, F and G both depends on B. The event number three, this is F and this is G. H depends on C and D, so we can join them together. So the event number four and it's H. Next, I depends on E, so it's 5, and it's I. Next, J depends on F and H, so H and F has to join together. So the event number 6. And this is J. K going to be G, J. 
you also need G for L as well. So if we call this event 7, when G finishes, then we can take a dummy to J. So that's joined together. Event number 8 for K. Then L depends on G. That's L. M and N both depends on L. So event number nine. So this is N and N. Now I, K, N, N do not appear in this column. That means they have to be joined together at the end. So we got the K, M going in that direction. Then we have to bring I in that direction. K N. Now this problem for N, we cannot join two vertices with more than one line. So we can call it event 10, then take a dummy from here. This is the event number 11 and this is the end.